Hey guys, it is a time to get our tomato seedlings out into the garden. So grab your nice and healthy seedlings and find a nice place that has nutrient rich soil out there and dig it in. We're gonna take it out of this container. Now be very gentle when you're taking it out. You don't just wanna yank it from its container. You wanna kind of squeeze the container around and loosen it up and it just kind of falls out. Then we have our bottom here and your bottom might look the same or different than mine. Um, as the roots start to develop, they will start to kind of wind around where the pot was and we don't want that. We wanna break that up so that they don't continue to wind but that they spread out in our soil. So we're just gonna take the bottoms and we're just gonna gently pull it out there a little bit and it encourages them to spread their roots. Then we're going to dig a nice deep spot into our soil. If you have your garden tools, you can obviously use that to dig into the soil. I often just kind of use my hands and dig into it and we're gonna make it nice and deep. And when you're looking at your seedling, all of these little fibers here, they will grow roots along the stem. So what you can do is if you want to plant your tomato seedling a bit deeper, so this one's not too leggy, but if you have leggy seedlings, you might tend to want to grow them a bit or plant them a bit deeper into the soil. So this one's not too bad. You can see that these are the little first leaves that it had. And then this is the first set of true leaves up here. What I might do is I might actually plant my tomato up to that first set of true leaves and that will allow more roots to develop off of this main stem and give you a stronger plant. I'm just going to pop it in there, nestle it in, and then you just want to fill in the soil around it. Now make sure there aren't any spaces around the edges of where you're putting it in. You don't want any gaps in the soil that will not be good for your plant. And then we're just gonna fill in all of that soil around it and give it a press down. Now you can actually see this leaf here is touching the soil. We definitely don't want that. So I'm just going to come in here and pinch that off. And we're gonna get rid of this leaf because that can create a lot of disease with your plant, which we definitely don't want. And while we're at it, I'm just gonna go in here. I'll do this side as well. And see these little buddies here. This is my indeterminate plant. I just wanna keep one single stem here. You may decide to leave them if you like, but I just like a nice clean plant going up my trellis. So I'm going to pop these off as well. So then you have your plant here. We're not quite hitting that trellis yet, so I don't need to tie it. Um, our weather is not going to be too bad or windy, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is until it hits that trellis here. There are two different types of tomatoes. We have indeterminate tomatoes and determinate tomatoes. The one that you just saw me plant here and all along here, these are all indeterminate tomatoes, and that means that they will keep growing throughout the summer and put on fruit at different times. Where your determinate tomatoes, you would not want to prune those and they will only grow to about a meter high or three feet high. And you want them to be nice, big and bushy plants and they will all set their fruit around the same time. And if so if you were to prune that off, that would just kind of take away from the production of your plant. So with your determinate tomatoes, you might want to put a tomato cage on those, but with your indeterminate tomatoes, they will need staking. So you need to have either some sort of trellis for them to grow up on, or um, you can get a bamboo post and just kind of tie them to that to keep them stabilized. With your tomatoes, you do want to give them about a foot and a half to two feet with your indeterminate tomatoes and then two to three feet with your determinate tomatoes. Because we're letting them get big and bushy, they will need a bit more space to let the air flow through so that we don't end up with any diseases on our tomatoes. So that is it for our planting of tomatoes for today, guys. I will catch you in the next tip tomorrow.